Welcome to City Beat. I'm John Brixen. You may not be aware of a new state law that governs the use of vehicle booster seats. It's now required that children ages 5 to 7 who are shorter than 4 feet 10 inches tall be in a child restraint system. There are two types of booster seats that are acceptable. We have two different types of booster seats here. We have the high back booster, and this is really important to use if you have a vehicle seat that does not have a headrest. So we want that head to be protected. So that's when you would use the high back booster. The low back or no back booster is also an acceptable booster seat, but this is used when the vehicle seat does have a headrest. So we, again, we want that head to be protected. It's key to use both the lap belt and the shoulder belt together when using a booster seat. About 78% of children between the ages of five and eight who were killed in car crashes were not properly restrained. And we know that that adult seatbelt is not designed to fit children. And because that the, the uh, lap portion of that belt comes up over the abdomen, it's causing a lot of internal injuries. And then the shoulder belt often cuts into the neck or face. So what happens is children are tempted to put that shoulder belt behind their shoulder and then they're not protected. It's very important with a booster seat to use the lap belt and shoulder belt together. We would never want to use a booster seat with only the lap belt. Glendale Fire has a car seat program. If you need help installing a car seat or simply want yours inspected, you can schedule an appointment by calling 623-930-SEAT. That's 623-930-7328.